Welcome to reading lesson 78. We are going to um, start reading chapters 15 and 16 for this lesson. Now I want you to grab your book. As you're grabbing your book, open up to page 89 and you'll see the beginning of chapter 15 entitled Summer is a Happy Time. Now, as you're opening your book, I want you to look for these words in 15 and 16. Fowl, warriors, and saunter. Now, I'm going to introduce chapter 15. Listen carefully. Summer has now arrived in Plymouth. God has blessed the pilgrims with fruits, vegetables, and fish. As the pilgrims continue to prepare their new home, Indians capture a close friend. Who will it be? Uh-oh. Okay, so what I want you to do is read chapter 15 on your own. Pause your video, read chapter 15, then unpause because we're going to read a few pages of chapter 16 together. Now that you've read chapter 15, let's go ahead and get into chapter 16. To introduce this chapter, so many blessings have come to the pilgrims since they have arrived in the new world. They have freedom, shelter, abundant crops, and unexpected friends. This, in this chapter, we will see how the pilgrims will react to these many, many blessings. All right, so we're just going to read the first two pages of chapter 16, which is entitled Thanksgiving Together. I want you to read out loud with me. Actually, we'll have to go the first page, the second page, and a little bit on the third page to complete the sentence. But then you're going to read the rest of the chapter on your own. Then you'll notice that we have now finished our Pilgrim Boy book. Great job reading. So let's go ahead and get into our reading of chapter 16, and then I will explain what you will do after that. Chapter 16, Thanksgiving. Read it with me. Edward breathed a huge sigh of relief. Squanto had not been killed after all. Captain Standish and his men had rescued him from Corbeton. He was back at Plymouth where he should be. Edward had seen him with his own eyes. Captain Standish had brought back several Indians who were wounded in the rescue attempt. The pilgrims took care of their wounds. Corbitant begged for forgiveness, said Love to Edward. I think he'll be friendly towards us now. He knows we don't want to harm the Indians. He also knows we are strong and have guns, declared Edward. The men are talking about going among the Massachusetts Indians to trade. It is good to make new friends. Edward and Love walked around their small town. Look, said Edward, we now have seven houses finished besides the common house for worship. Don't forget the three storehouses. If we didn't have them, where would we store our furs until a ship came from England? And our extra food if we had a good harvest, put in Edward. Soon the long summer days were over and autumn began. The woods blazed with color, red, yellow, and gold. The crisp mornings and evenings reminded Edward that the winter, that winter is on, was on its way. He knew that the pilgrims were not afraid to face the winter now. They had houses to live in and some food to eat. Although they, the seed they had brought from England did not grow, the corn seed they obtained from the Indians did. Gratefully, the pilgrims stored their harvest. Some of them had been skill, become skillful fishermen, providing cod and bass for the colony. The pilgrims dried the fish for eating during the winter months. Others shot duck, geese, wild turkey, and deer, some of which they ate fresh and some of which they dried to eat later. Everyone felt happy and thankful. Now, I want you to finish reading chapter 16 on your own, and then I want you to go on Google Classroom and look for two assignments. One is going to tell you or ask you the main ideas from chapter 15 and chapter 16, and the next assignment is going to be 
just a overview of all the characters and um, their feelings throughout the Pilgrim Boy book. Everything will be explained in the instructions on the form in Google Classroom. Happy reading.